In today's edition of At Home with the Who's, presented in part by UVA Orthopedics, we are thrilled to be joined by a former Who, class of 1981, where she was UVA's first 1,000-point scorer in women's basketball and now serves as the commissioner of the Big East Conference, Val Ackerman. And Val, thanks for joining us and taking some time out of your busy schedule to join us during these highly unusual times. And uh, let me start here. How is life in the Ackerman household these days, especially living in Manhattan? Well, hey, Dave, great to be with you. Wahoo wah. Um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm happy to report I'm, I'm safe and sound as are my husband and our youngest daughter, who's a grad student, uh, who's been living with us and is now like every other student around the country online. So it's been uh, an adjustment for sure. Um, you know, we, um, you know, we're, it's so sorry to see the state of our country and our world. And, you know, my hat goes off to the healthcare professionals and, and the leaders who are trying to bring us back uh, on the road to recovery. Um, so uh, our thoughts are certainly with all of them. And uh, as I said, I'm just trying to adjust to this, to this new order we're finding ourselves in. What, what has been the most challenging aspect from where you sit? I, you know, Dave, I would say it's just not knowing um, the answers to questions that people keep asking. I mean, our folks, I'm sure like uh, the folks at UVA and, and around the country, they, we all just, we, we're planners. You know, we want to know what, what's going to happen. We want to be able to know uh, when we can start putting out schedules, um, how we're going to manage conference championships. Um, you know, in our case, we don't know whether our campuses are going to be open. Um, and if so, when and how and what that will look like and how that will affect the ability of our, of our student athletes to return and get going with practices and games and so on. So I would say that particular element, just dealing with the uncertainty, it's just something I think, you know, we're, we all look ahead, we've got plans for next year this time. And so the idea that we don't know what's gonna happen a month from now or two months from now or three months from now, I think um, makes it a real challenge and there really hasn't been much of a playbook to help uh, all of us figure this one out. Yeah, there's no script, no question. Uh, I, I want to go back to UVA. Your days here, I mentioned that you were Virginia's first 1,000 point score. You played basketball at Virginia, graduated in 81, and were one of the, uh, the university's first female student athletes to receive a scholarship. Um, why did you pick UVA when you go back in time? And looking back, how did that experience impact your life? Um, well, it did. I mean, it, it totally impacted my life. Not, not, I'll say this with tears in my eyes, not a day goes by where I don't think about my days um, in Charlottesville and, and what it was like to be on grounds, uh, what it was like to be an athlete at this great school, um, what it was like to be from New Jersey, <laughs> going to a school in Virginia, a public school in New Jersey, I would add, going to a school like UVA. It was a um, beautiful campus, as we know. Um, I was recruited by Debbie Ryan, the longtime coach who went to my high school. So I felt a sense of safety and comfort uh, with this fellow bulldog. That was our high school nickname. Um, it was a little bit closer to home uh, being, being in Virginia versus North Carolina. And so it was really, uh, Dave, a package of reasons. And, you know, I'll just say one of the, one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. Um, just, just really a terrific place to spend four years. For you, you have certainly been a pioneer of sorts throughout your career, taking on so many different responsibilities along the way, but you've spoken publicly about the need to have more women in roles uh, as lead administrators in, in college sports and, and just sports in general. Uh, what was your reaction to Carla Williams being hired at UVA? Well, uh, you're, you're absolutely right. I mean, we uh, college sports has come a long way since my days at Virginia when they're really were no, um, there was just, it was unimaginable that you would have a, a woman AD um, or a woman a commissioner. I think at that time, the notion of an SWA was maybe just getting going. Um, you know, we saw, of course, I had a, a female head coach uh, in Coach Ryan, um, but, but college sports um, really needed to change over the decades since I've been a student athlete and really has. So that's the good news. The, the more sobering news is I, I still don't think there's enough women in leadership roles. Um, at the commissioner level, I think we've got about a third of the D1 commissioners now are female, which is, which is positive. And to see, and we don't have um, as many women as maybe we need to at D1 as well at the AD level. So um, to see someone like Carla come in into that role, to see it happen at my alma mater, 
uh, was, uh, was really fantastic. Um, I, I didn't know Carla before this. I'll, I'll share that I have had a chance to get to know her in the last year through our shared work with the NCAA on the name, image, and likeness matter. Um, I can, um, I'm sure you know this, but I, my observation is she's, she's smart. She, um, she's, she's got a seasoned perspective, having been a student athlete and an administrator at, at a great um, athletics program like, like Georgia. Um, she understands the complexities of our world, which include not only the sport piece, but the business of college sports piece. And most importantly, she has the, um, the interest of student athletes really in the forefront of her mind. Uh, you know, every comment um, I've heard her make in our work together has been with that, was it, it virtually has been with leading with that, uh, with that idea in mind. So uh, Virginia made a great decision and um, I think she'll make uh, great contributions during her, during her time uh, with the Who's and build on the amazing work of her predecessors, all of whom I knew, um, dating back to Jean Corrigan. So I'm, I'm really happy for UVA on this one. Is someone who was at once the, the head of the WNBA yourself, and I'm curious what you thought of the, the WNBA, the NFL's virtual drafts, uh, some pretty innovative stuff we saw with those. I did. I did. You know, I didn't watch all, you know, each of them in their entirety, but, um, but I, what was of great interest to me, particularly with the WNBA draft, uh, I think my, my answer, Dave, is that they did the best job they could under the circumstances. You know, I'll, I'll say it, it isn't the same um, as, as doing it in person. And, uh, and, you know, if you're a commissioner, being able to hand that jersey to the athlete, um, you know, and I, I'm, I'm, I remember vividly my first draft. I did eight WNBA drafts. My very first one, Tina Thompson, mm. was the first pick in the first WNBA draft. All right, that, that, Val, that leads us into our lightning round of questions here. So we're going to run through a couple of these, and you can answer as quickly as you can. Your favorite UVA sports memory since you graduated was? Well, I'll jump on the bandwagon here and say um, the, the men's team winning the national championship last year. I guess they're still the national champions, aren't they? Um, Good time, I guess, if we want to call exactly. off that. Your all-time favorite UVA athlete. Jeff Lamp. <laughs> Jeff Lamp. All right. We don't get Jeff Lamp a lot. Uh, he, yeah. But he was my hero. Jeff was my contemporary, my hero. Your favorite place to eat in Charlottesville. Okay, so daytime Little John's, um, the occasional Pete's Sicilian pie from Anna's, which was near the old dorms. I hope I don't know if it still is. Still there. Oh, sorry, the new dorms. The new dorms. <laughs> and then nighttime, of course, was TJ's. I don't know if that's still standing, but that was the um, that was the watering hole down on the corner uh, for people <laughs> for people of my era. All right, there it is. She is one of the all-time great Wahoos doing her thing, both at UVA and then in many, many chapters there to forward. We appreciate it, Val Ackerman, for the time you gave us, and uh, good luck helping us uh, through this turbulent water that we're going through right now. We appreciate everything you're doing. Yeah, thanks, Dave. Pleasure to be with you, and uh, I'll start. I'll finish the way I started, Wahoo Wah, to you and yours. Go. Hey, hey. That's a crowd pleaser right there. It's At Home with the Who's, and it is presented by UVA Orthopedics. UVA Orthopedics, stronger movement, superior momentum, healthier lives. Learn more at uvahealth.com backslash ortho. Thanks for joining us, everybody.